All right, so we got how Minecraft sounds are made. Let's get to the video. Let's go. Outside for the first time. There ain't no way. No, boy, it's just this guy making all the sounds. No shot, it's all made by this dude right here. Yeah, yeah, no, that sounds, uh, that's right. I think the funniest part of my job is to really come up with the ideas to make the sounds. Whether it's a natural thing, or a totally unexpected thing. When you come up with that idea... That's you turning on the shower?! That's sort of the most fun part of the job. Here we have... Very nice little thing. Um, it's a brush. It's used for when you put an item into an item frame and when you then rotate. So this is when you put the item on the item frame. And when you rotate. Yeah, it's a small silly thing. <laughs> One of the most challenging things to do when sound is hiding from Minecraft is mob sounds. <laughs> Because there's, um, you have to establish a character and the mob is going to have a, a variety of different behavior that is always a bit different from other mobs. The warden! If it's, an animal, if it's a mob that doesn't exist in the real world, then you have all the opportunities to do stuff with this. It, it, there are no rules. Yeah, there's like the freedom of it. Okay. Sound. <laughs> challenging things about creating mob sounds is to find the I've never seen a sniffer in my life of the sound. that's different <laughs> and sometimes it's just it sounds like a menace a microphone trying to find the mob <laughs> when it's fleeing it's like <laughs> sorry that kind of thing that kind of thing it's scared <clears throat> but then it becomes very angry then it's like <laughs> And then it face again. Yo, yo, it's actually him. As you can hear. Oh, this is powerful tool because you have the power to do emotive outputs on command. That's crazy. I can sound happy. I can sound sad. I can sound angry. You know, all those things you can control with your voice, which makes it a powerful tool, especially if you apply True. effects to it. True. No shot. No, 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 no there's no way. The in Minecraft are just basic recordings of my funny cat called Udi. Main reasons to record real animals for me has been that sort of, just by, like the goats I met, they have their own unique voices, which means we now have unique goat sounds in minecraft you can't hear well, these goats in any other game well he actually got the he actually well, got the, the sound recordings from the goat mob recordings i've ever done is when i went to call modern wildlife park to record the dolphins it was a pretty big setup with a bunch of oh no he's a real deal are, you know underwater microphones and and recorded lots of both underwater sounds and overwater sounds for the dolphins so that was super big Yo. i think samuel used his child for the phantom sounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, the phantom is an interesting mob because it appears when you haven't slept enough. And that's basically what happens when you have a baby in real life. So I thought I just record my little kid crying and then I put some filters on it. And when, if you listen closely, you can actually hear that it's a cry. <laughs> Yo! Mm -hmm. We have pre-recorded a sequence from the game but removed all the sounds and you have 20 minutes to recreate them. All right, challenge accepted. Right, so we need a wooden door, we need a toilet roll, we need some kind of bell. Huh. Oh. oh, no, 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 he's the actual road deal. I can't That's lie to you. Part of the, job. the working process that we have uh, at Mojang is quite unique, I think because we in the sound department gets to be involved from the very beginning, from the brainstorming part, together with the designers and artists and developers. 
so we have a huge impact on uh, on the feature from the very beginning and that's really fun. Du kanske fejda ut nu då. Nej, det är kul kanske. Åh, oh, det är kul. Ja, det är det är, det är jättefint. Det blir jättebra. I think the silent aspect of Minecraft is one of its most beautiful things. The sound engine we use is very bare bone. It's only available to control things like pitch and volume. So every sound really counts and it's still a very comforting soundscape, I would say. I think that is definitely something we want to keep in the game. Okay, here we go. I think also a lot of Minecraft sounds that already exist, that Samuel has created, that has been here for uh, all these years, have uh, like a um, homemade feeling to it in a way. It's Wait, so the like eating sounds uh, is actually him eating? Some light for real, sound, like a library sound. Uh, so when we when we create the new sounds, we need to follow in those footsteps and uh, create sounds that will fit into the already existing Minecraft world. So that means we need to continue to do it in the same feeling. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, that's it then. Yeah, as we say, we can live with this. I think. Yeah. Titta No shot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a good example of the community being really interested in what Brother, we do I'm is blown when away. I made the Cave Sound 14, I inserted a picture of a creeper in it. Uh, you have to use a program like a spectrogram to, to see this. I mean, you can hear that it sounds a bit funky, but I thought when we released it in Snapshot, it would take like a couple of months until someone found it, but it just took a few minutes and then people <laughs> immediately got that it was a creeper inside the sound. I think that's pretty amazing. There are some more Easter eggs, right? Easter eggs, Easter egg. Yeah, if you dig deep down in the caves. Oh, no, I see. Mm -mm. Discover I'm good. No, 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 you I'm good. I'm good. Now you can keep those. I don't like going to no caves or, or anything, bro. There's too many creepers and zombies. Yeah. They, they sneak up on you. GG's. Right. I'm not doing that. <laughs> bro, 15 years of Minecraft, bro. I would, bro, I'm so blown away. And I'm sorry that I couldn't really say that much, uh, you know, while the video was playing. Um, bro, I was so blown away, bro. I was not expecting most of the sounds or, like, all the sounds that's in Minecraft being made by a guy, bro. But by one dude that's, like... And like, bro, he's like, he's grabbing a fork and hitting plates and stuff. And he's like, bro, I did not know. I think one thing that actually blown me away, bro, was the eating. I was not, I mean, well, it, it's really like self-explanatory. I was not expecting like the eating to be actually just eating. Brother, he put like five chips in his mouth, started crunching. I'm not even like, like whenever it comes to Minecraft, like like the crunching in Minecraft, like the eating in Minecraft is so like, distinctive that like i know like how it sounds in my head like already so seeing him actually do it in front of a mic is crazy and and a lot of the other sounds like bro like i can't lie to you bro his uh like his his uh like his um like the sounds he was doing with like the pig and stuff like that with, with the with the uh with the nether pig and stuff like that bro those are what are those called pigrims piglums pig i think so um bro like i'm super impressed bro i was not expecting this dude right here to make the sounds like for some reason and here's the thing i do know that like games like call of duty they actually like you know do have like you know uh like tests and stuff like that where like they shoot actual like shoot actual guns and um like whenever like they have like whenever there's like a plane flying over they actually record like a plane flying over and stuff like that like they actually like the sound like like, like the audio like they invest a lot of money into like the audio and stuff like that so that's what i thought minecraft was going to be in a way like not into not like because Minecraft is so, like, it's not just, like, a overlapping of sound or whatever, but, like, the small distinctive things is, like, opening the door, closing the door, eating, uh, placing something down, picking something up, um, I don't know, placing a block down. Like, those sounds, I'm automatically thinking, okay, it has to be, like, some, like you know, as a part of, like, a, like a computer or something. There's no shot. Somebody's actually making these sounds. And then I came across this video. I'm like, there's no way. Like, people actually make these sounds. And turns out it's not even people. It's just a guy 
legit making these sounds by himself. Uh, bro, the man put his own child into the game, bro. He had his child crying and put multiple layers on it and stuff like that. First of all, shout out to like the, like the sounds engineer and stuff like that for like, you know, um, putting all these sounds into the, into the game and stuff like that. But bro, this is really impressive. Like I'm not even like, bro, you put his cat into the game. Like he put actual goat sounds in the game. And bro, he put a, bro, he put an actual dolphin into the game too. That's absolutely crazy, bro. This is absolutely crazy. Comment down below. What do you guys think about this? I'm I'm very blown away. I was not expecting one guy to come up with all these sounds. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. So you guys bring some out and